All right, so two things of, of uh, noteworthy news here within the SGL. Um, TPC mm. has gone in retirement. Damn. So a top 20, sometimes a 20 to 25 guild, uh, has now called it quits for the foreseeable future. So shout out to TPC and the legacy um, that they leave behind. Uh, so King Cows, Rysasima, Loch Ness, uh, even Kibin was there to support them mm -hmm. and a couple others. Uh, but shout out to them and shout out to the legacy of the guild. And then also Vex from Volpinia, a tier two guild. Uh, they're cooked. Because cool. essentially we got word from Vex saying they are freaking cooked. Their phone's broken right now and they won't be on this shell probably. <laughs> but but that's what we got. And Jurg, welcome to the couch. It's long and full of friendship. Thank you so much for supporting us. All right. You're let's go. Cool. Let's get into it. All right. This is Celestial tier. This is the first through fifth place positions. And this is kind of interesting. We got a little shake up here. Uh, mm -hmm. TSL, well, you know, it's like the first week, really. So who really cares, hey. right? Uh, anyways, uh, TSL has moved and conquered that first place position, uh, moving up two spots over the past seven days. Uh, they are back to PvP. So Factory Reset's got a lot of work to put in to keep up with them again. Uh, but Factory Reset is actually in second place. Friendly is in third. The Force is in fourth. <laughs> And holy moly, for one week and one week only, Wolfblood is a Celestial Tier guild. Uh, they've moved one up two positions. <laughs> Congratulations, Wolfblood. <laughs> You're doing Bro, something good. Bro, that shade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let it be known, it's just shade towards you, not to Wolfblood. A great guild, yeah. you know, just even, to you. <laughs> even Silver in chat is like, yeah. I'm sandbagging that. <laughs> You could Bro, have I'm been higher, the, but you're you're fifth now. <laughs> I'm on the PVE leaderboard weekly, okay, Silver? So you better watch your back, dude. I am killing I am slaying NPCs. Anyway, this is a great celestial tier. Yeah. All right. So TSL, everyone had I mean, I was even betting on them. Uh everyone had, you know, high hopes from swapping from PvE to PvP this season, and here they go. Yep. I mean, earned EXP, dude. They earned 19 mil in the last seven days to get here. Wild wild i i have more updated like i refreshed right before you went live so they earned 19 mil factory reset number two but they've earned 12.7 so they're still high hitters over here friendly actually showing uh a huge improvement in their starting position from last season mm -hmm. uh with 8.4 earned the force 9.5 Yep. And uh, Wolf Blood, of course, being Celestial Tier, once again, we didn't see this. Uh, we haven't seen this since like Dazed and Silver were really yeah. in the guild. Uh, but here they are moving into the top or top five position with nine mil earned. Uh, congrats to Wolf Blood. Woof, woof, I'm there, and it's mainly because of me. But this is all I have to say is it's a great start. Um, we yeah. are lacking PvE representation, though. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. That is actually very true. Let's move we'll over see to them. the legendary team. Yeah, we'll see them right now. <laughs> oh, snickerdoodles. Uh, six <laughs> legendary is 6th through 10th place positions. We have DPS, the first PvE guild on the leaderboard here with 9.2 mil. 7th uh, place is Prostor, who have moved down two positions, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, the Knights who say Yi, we're in 8th place. And that's nice. Wobbly Cat's back at it. Shadow Garden's actually moved up to into the ninth place position, and Italia is moved mm -hmm. up two positions into tenth place. That's impressive. They're another PVE. This is a, a PVE centric leaderboard uh, tier yeah. right here. So nice. Yeah. So uh, the updated. So DPS here they earned seven point seven in the last seven days. Prostor was a celestial tier within the first week of mm -hmm. the opener of season six. Um, so I mean, at least they touched it. And they're in a higher position than they were last season already. But of course, like you said, they moved down to two positions, earning 4.2 mil. The Yi, Yi's not dead. Yurk is actually, Yurk's telling me that people are playing in Yi. Dang. So here they are with almost 4 mil earned. Uh, they got to tax uh, their people. Yeah, they, they're taxing already, dude. Uh, and they're learning from us in Overlord. Yeah. And in the updated slide, Italia has overtaken Shadow mm. by. 13,000 EXP. Look at that. Yeah, so they're neck and neck. Um, you, so Italia is number nine, Shadow Garden is number 10. It just happened. I just refreshed it. But earning comparable EXP, they're they're just like twinsies right now. But twinsies? yeah, that's all I got. 
All right, let's move on to the next tier then. It you kiss is each other? The <sighs> epic tier, 11 through 15. Asgard's dropped down one position to move into epic tier. Still Friendly 2 has moved up two positions to take that 12th place uh, spot. Uh, Demolition's Great Kingdom is in 13th. Murderers of the Universe have dropped heavily five positions into the 14th place spot. And Resolved has moved up two positions to enter epic and take that 15th place spot. All very mm. close in total EXP right now. So it could go yeah. either way. Uh, I I suspect Still Friendly 2 will keep moving up because they were a Celestial Tier guild um, yes. for the longest time in last season. So I, I think out of all of these guilds, they're going to climb the highest. Yeah, especially when uh, I'm pretty sure Tansy will eventually float their yeah. way, right? Yeah. But uh, I'm not going to go over Earned because it's pretty much identical right now in total. But yeah, Asgard dropping down, I don't think they should be worried at all. Uh, they've been a strong guild. They're going to continue to be a strong guild. Still Friendly 2 is probably going to over, you know, they're going to pass them. Yeah. So it's really going to come down to like who can overtake Shadow Garden and um, what was it, Italia? So yeah, we'll see. We'll see more movement. DGK, that's Demo and Lucas and a lot of people from newbies. They eventually burn out on everything they do. So DGK, I mean, it's epic that they're showing up this high. I have no hopes for them right now, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Murders of the Universe, they're doing their thing. They drop hard, and then they eventually climb their way back up. Resolve, again, they were completely new last season, mm -hmm. and here they are in top 15. They have continued to show progress, so good for them. Yeah, yeah, very nice. All right, Elite <laughs> tier, 16 through 20. Heaven and Hell moving up seven spots. Uh, good on them. Because they got knocked mm. out of the WGS leaderboard uh, this uh, past yeah, I leaderboard. Saw. Yep. Um, I was like, I was like, because Dark's in Brazil, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, and then seventeenth place is Sorrow Keep, moving up eleven spots. They really grinded over the yeah. past week. Uh, Frontier, which is a PVE newer PVE guild, is in eighteenth place position. Black Dragon mm. is in nineteenth, and the Brazil, which is another PVE guild, Brazil grind is in the twenties spot for this tier pretty freaking impressive from these pve guilds across this sgl so far yeah and in the updated slide mm -hmm. brazil has overtaken black dragon by a little like a hundred and seventy two k yeah exp so again neck and neck here as the opener in the season yeah. six heaven and hell um they fell hard but they're pushing forward most of their members are coming back i think on their normal routine uh, so we'll see that because, you know, summer it dips. Sorrow Keep, I think, is a guild to keep her eye on. They came in hot. They came in at the last minute last season. Uh, definitely not a guild to overlook. And Frontier is, that's the newer guild this season, I believe. Right, Chris Fly? Like, th yeah. They're showing their teeth for the first time uh, this go around. And, of course, Black Dragon is up here with Brazil. And it looks like Black Dragon is doing better than Helheim, which is their extreme extremely deep rooted rivalry um so good for them yeah this is a great tier yeah it, yeah it seems like everyone has shifted forward yeah this time around absolutely yeah. all right let's move on to uh rare tier um it's sorry i got a text saying that something hit the house one of our uh, upstairs uh, windows some someone maybe threw something uh 21 uh, through 20 place 25 place positions <laughs> i'm gonna have to wrap this up i got i got yeah. people to fight i guess um uh zell zenth kenny's in a 21st position living death stepping which is a pve guild again has moved down two spots in the 22nd golden arrows uh showing some life i'm moving up three positions <laughs> hellheim yeah. i thought they wanted to be a top 15 guild they dropped eight positions uh yeah what's happened to them i don't know and then finally alpha and omega showing up for that 25th gatekeeping spot for the top 25 good on them yeah that's but that's also their lowest since last season so zck still i'm surprised zck is still around dude i'm just i don't know why but i'm surprised so zck is showing strong living death stepping another brand new guild hitting the sgl i have no idea who they are uh but excited to see where they go golden arrows shouldn't be this far below if you ask me Helheim, we even got a comment saying you can't call them Heaven and Hell's younger brother now, can you? Because they were showing such progress mm -hmm. and they were oh, they were above Heaven and Hell. I guess it didn't pan out because they dropped eight freaking positions because everyone shot forward. And then Alpha and Omega, 
They're a tier two guild. They're a strong tier two guild, but they're also teetering on the edge. But yeah, we'll we'll have to see how this pans out in the next update. Um, normally after this, we go over tier two. But Crazy Five, if you want to just do you want to go to the conclusion? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Okay, so next update we'll go over tier two yeah uh we have some excellent movement there and we have new guilds popping off uh again we'll we'll cover that next well with me next thursday 